I'm in charge of the kitchen. Boots sponsors this morning. It's a hot topic of conversation and one that's causing a massive divide. We're talking about attachment parenting, where parents are encouraged to breastfeed on demand, be in constant contact with their babies and even allow them to share their bed. Well, Peaches Geldof is one of a number of celebrity fans and recently hit the headlines when she revealed she and her husband now sleep in separate beds as bonding with her baby takes priority. But Katie Hopkins thinks this is setting a dangerous precedent and uh, dismisses the technique as new age nonsense. And welcome both of you. So uh, let's start first of all by explaining the principle. What What is it? What do you do? Okay, well, attachment parenting, it's it's kind of sad to me that it even has a name. Um, that's sort of the most negative part of it for me, because really all it is is a return to instinctive mothering. It's just about loving your child. And it's actually quite sad that mothers need to be reminded to, you know, not treat your baby like an alarm clock. So there is none of this sort of routine where you say, right, feeds every oh, power no, many hours. Oh, there is a routine. Hours. Yeah, like, that's a, a big misconception. Right. Like, I have a routine with my child. We have a loose feeding schedule. They definitely have a really strict bedtime routine. But, um, because that's important you know that teaches them to thrive there has to be boundaries but really what it is it's about um, you know there's the seven B's of attachment parenting which are um, breastfeeding birth bonding bedding close to your baby bear, uh, baby wearing um, believing in your baby's cries and beware of baby trainers and also there's something that's uh, bond, uh, boundaries and bonding with your baby mm. so those are the seven B's so yes yeah. do you adhere to stringently strictly to all of them I mean the great thing about um, AP is that it's really not about strict rules you can pick and choose what you like of it um, you can be an AP mother if you have a nine-to-five you can be an AP mother if you um, you know are a stay-at-home mom it's really all-inclusive just so as you can mix and match you can really mix and match yeah but I think the controversy uh, and some people say that uh, that the thing that's highlighted this the reason why we're talking today is the fact that you your sleeping arrangements and, right and the fact that the, the, the the baby can come into bed yeah. whenever and your husband will go and sleep elsewhere. I mean, well, it's only with my family, it's because I have two babies under two. They're quite, um, I, one of my children is 17 months and the other is seven months. And so we have a bed that is actually nine foot wide because when you sleep with your baby, you have to be safe. Um, I mean, statistically, um, children, babies that slept with their mother were actually at a much lower incidence of cot death. I mean, it's called cot death for a reason. It's not called co-sleeping death for a reason. Because babies who are left in cots aren't um, temperature regulated and they aren't... Um, not that I think sleeping in cots is a bad thing. Mm. I totally agree with it if that's what suits you. Well, it's SIDS, yeah. isn't it? Sudden infant death Sudden syndrome. Sudden death syndrome. So, and the syndrome. NHS doesn't and recommend it. Um, but it's, it's been scientifically proven now by a, a recent study in Harvard that um, co-sleeping with your baby, the babies who slept with their mother were known to breathe in time with the mothers and their temperature regulated by the mothers and mothers had um, actually a 30% more wakeful instance so can they would I, be waking um, up rather than rolling over onto the Can baby. I just ask you, so obviously and that works for you and, and it's brilliant and I think anyone should be allowed to bring up their baby however yeah, they totally. take it and that's what I think but what does this do to you and your partner? Because I know that my husband would be like, hello. Yeah, I've here. actually recently started, um, get, uh, we sleep in the same bed again, because um, as I said, uh, there was a recent Grazia article, which is where all this like controversy about me doing AP has come from, where I talked about how... What about your sex life? Well, I have two babies under two. Obviously, I'm doing something in the bedroom. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, something's going well, you on. Were. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, it's like a, a part of uh, one of the seven baby bees is to have balance, and we totally take that into our life. Like, just because I sleep in bed with my baby doesn't mean I'm with my baby all through the night. You know, they go to bed at seven. I'm not going to bed at seven. We have a, you know, a baby monitor on, and we go uh, to one of the bedrooms in our house, and we watch TV in there and do whatever couples do. You know, like. I'm 24 years old, my husband's 23, we're obviously like being intimate with each other. Um, it's just, and that's really an important part of marriage, I'm not neglecting my marriage because I sleep in bed with yeah. my child when I go to sleep. What's wrong that. with any of this? It's all a bit to nip your own Birkenstocks really, isn't it? As you said on Twitter. Thing. And I think, you know, 15 A's, 24 C's, 7 B's, now we have the rules of parenting and for me, AP, <laughs> attachment parenting is just one step away from CRAP, crap parenting, and I think it's really important that we recognise that we 
do have children, but we are the parents. But we Katie, are, you come on here to be controversial. You've spoken for quite a long so even time. If you came on so I'm just going to speak as you have your shot for the minute. We've got to let her talk. But literally anything I say, she's just going to have a pre, you let's know, see. determined well, controversial Katie Hopkins answer. Let's regroup, let's regroup in a minute. Let's see what she says. All right, it just means nothing. It's absolutely meaningless. Well, she's got to have a point of view. You have to allow her a point of view. I will, I will. That's, I mean, that's her raison d'etre, isn't it? She's a Well, she has a point of view. She speaks, she speaks, a lot of people agree with Katie on some of the things she says. All right, let's go no, 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 wait. Let's just stop and let's have. Let's hear what she's got to say. She I'd might love think it's it. a perfect idea. Let's do it. I think it's really important that mums are mums and they're in charge, they're in control. Babies are absolutely fine to cry. But attachment parents think it's really important that you're there straight away if your pet, if your baby cry, that you're there straight away if your baby wakes in the night. They end up sleeping in bed with their babies because they never really grew out of having dollies, did they? And I think it's really important <laughs> that we see that as a mother, you put your child to bed, if it needs to have a little cry, go for your life. But you're not there all the time. These guys choose to wear their babies. They call it baby wearing. You know, it's I have a, a handbag. It's I have a handbag. I wear a handbag. I don't well, wear so a baby. So you never carry your baby You see sleep. these people... No. You see these people with 15 metres worth of Indian, it's always Indian print, isn't it? Fabrics woven around their body. And somewhere inside this is this tiny, mewling being of That's a baby called, with its arms and legs what about when it's really discontented because when it you can't were pregnant, get space you had the to same move. thing going on inside your body. And that's how they their babies. It's all a little bit you too natural. You've had your baby like that for nine it? months, Katie. If you could be pregnant and have it outside of your body in a handbag, you probably would have done that as well, wouldn't you? A little bit too knit your own yogurt, a little bit too grow your own bag and stop. She has a point. The, the you could, as you mums, said on Twitter when and you now walk twice. Into, when you walk into Costa, you can virtually sm smell the breast milk, can't you, of these guys. They gather around and they're never prouder than when well, they've got me, their boots out on display. Here. Look how good I am. I'm feeding oh, my baby, isn't hold it? Hold on a second. Right, okay, you've made your point. <laughs> Now you're saying it's all a bit, it's all a bit new age, it's all a bit hippie. You're saying mm -hmm. this was developed by a British psychologist, John Bowlby, in the 1950s. Cultural anthropologist Jean Leadloff, whose research forms much of the AP, concluded that babies have an innate set of expectations that they remain physically close to their parents, and that their needs are met immediately. She argues that Western society, with its cots and bottle feeding and control crying, leaves those expectations unanswered. So to create sociable, cooperative adults, the mother must constantly carry infant, infants and the baby should co-sleep with its parents and breastfed them. Isn't this worldwide? It's not worldwide. Isn't this happening more than, say, what is more I mean, well known within the UK? I mean, if you think about it, it's been going on for generations since when mothers were in caves with their babies. They didn't have strollers, even though I push my, my sunny ways, you know, one and a half stone in a stroller. stroller. I can't carry him now. Relaxed it with the stroller. She likes attachment parenting until her baby's on the floor on the pavement, which is terribly unfortunate. Oh, every, 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 single, every single mother has had a baby fall from the bed, fall out of a pram. We've all done that. Most people would put their telephone down. Uh, my, I mean, my, my daughter fell out of a, a carry chair as I put a picture of her. You probably weren't on the phone. At least, least I'm it. there for my children, not slagging them off in the press, no. Katie, if you want to take low blows. Let's, let's, uh, let you continue, continue what you're saying. Okay, as I was saying, it's been going on for generations. It's only very recently that Western society is now, you know, had this, evolved uh, that Western society has you know had these set of rules that means you know you shouldn't be close to your baby and you should be doing controlled crying um, whereas for years and years and years and especially um, in you know less uh, economically developed countries mothers sleep with their babies and in the less economically developed countries they have a wildly lesser instance of mental health problems with bullying issues uh, with health problems in general because they're doing all of this stuff which basically teaches your baby I am there for you I love you I'm not holding you at arms I left. just I have to say that you know in sweet Sweden we, we hold Sweden up as this kind of holy grail of, of parenting of child rearing and they're now saying that they've got a nation of spoilt brats because um, these brats have been allowed to have everything they want. Rather spoilt than emotionally retarded, to, Katie. To I mean, have if you want an example want of someone who wasn't decisions. attached to parents and looked no I'm further saying. than the person on my left, this is a prime example of someone who did not grow up attached to parented. I did not. Someone who's cold, someone who goes on the media to slag parented. off other women, who slags off her own children. I mean, I'm glad, to be Peach honest, cheeks. that I'm here talking about If we about can, it. for one moment, um, Swedish people have a nation now of spoilt brats because these children think that they're in charge. I think it's really important that children know they're not 
not in charge. I'm the parent. I'm in charge, and my children do what I say. I think that's really important. I think some people. I have totally never actually really agree with Katie on that told. one. I think it is important for the parents to, uh, as I said, one of the B's is boundaries. You, said. you have to, you have to teach your children that you are the parent. There can't be, you know, um, any sort of fine lines about who's in control. I agree with her on that one. But at the same time, with something like controlled crying, there was a recent study that Harvard University did that There's showed that. There's always a study. There's always a of study, course there is, study to be an opposite this, to what you said in the last 10 seconds. This study showed that uh, babies who were left to cry in a bed had a really high instance of this stress hormone called cortisol, which basically meant that they weren't self-settling. They were literally so traumatised so and jargon. numb that they were just falling asleep. Final five seconds. It's not is jargon, it it's the English language. Let your, let your babies live their lives. We don't need attachment parents. Attachment parents are crap parents. As I said, look okay. no further. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's where thank it goes you, wrong if you don't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And breathe. Competition time now.